A portfolio is a purposeful collection of student work that exhibits the student's efforts, progress, and achievements in one or more areas. This collection must include student participation in selecting the content, the criteria, and evidence of self-evaluation. Many have seen these portfolios used in traditional classrooms, with students writing, having a folder of their brainstorming, drafting, editing, and final draft. These portfolios then become assessment folders for teachers to determine if the student understands the writing process and completed each step, as well as helps the teacher to direct the instruction for the class based on where students are struggling. So my question is, why not take this a step higher and add technology? Make the student's portfolio digital portfolios. A digital portfolio increases the student's multimedia skills, decreases storage space in the classroom, becomes easily portable, and gives the portfolio a longer shelf life. Imagine receiving a student's work on CD, videotape, or from the internet. By adding the technology to the portfolio that students can have a portfolio follow them through all their schooling with the ease of duplicating and transporting easier due to this technology. As a teacher in a classroom with technology, you need to set up your own portfolio online in which you can show examples of how to build your own portfolio as a student. There are many programs available on the internet that is free to use for students and teachers that make these portfolios accessible from anywhere with an internet connection. If a school is not comfortable with having their students work online or out on the web, a school can set up a server that could be used for the students' digital portfolios. Once students build their digital portfolios, the portfolios became a digital archive of students' work, a central database for teachers to assess the students, and a wonderful bridge between the school and home. Using a digital portfolio on the internet allows families to communicate with the school as well as an educational tool. A group of teachers in Arizona used the digital portfolios in a fourth and fifth grade classroom during their writer's workshop in which they gave students net names rather than their real names to protect the students' privacy of their profiles published on the web. These teachers in Arizona realized that the publishing of the students' work on the internet made them strive to do better on their work. Although the students did strive to do better, it was also observed that their state scores did not approve due to the digital portfolios. This made me believe that having a digital portfolio is not best for elementary students, but more for students with higher technological capabilities who can develop and maintain their portfolios with the additional help of the teacher each time they are needing to post work on the web. I also feel that the digital portfolios to work in the K-12 classroom, schools need to have more computers in the individual classrooms so that classes do not have to reserve time in the computer lab weekly to update their portfolios.